Thank you very much, David. To members of the Administrative Committee, fellow Liberals, we meet after two and a half years of Rudd Labor government. Two and a half years ago, Australia was a different place. We had money in the bank. We had no debt. We had budgets in surplus. Two and a half years ago, we had our borders under control. Two and a half years ago, more than a hundred boats ago, more than a hundred excuses ago, at least a million rud words ago, <laughs> countless rud reviews ago, Australia was a different place. Back then, Kevin Rudd said if he got elected, he wouldn't change much. But he did say we Liberals lacked vision. Well, I can confess on behalf of all of us today, I think, that none of us ever had the vision of a federal government getting into the business of home roof insulation. <laughs> Either did our founding fathers all those years ago. Friends, at the same time we've had Julia Gillard rolling out new buildings to schools. Whether they want them or not, even if they have one student, even if they're closing, she's been rolling out the buildings. But that's not all. When she comes to pay for the building, she doesn't just pay for the cost of it, she's been throwing in a tip as well. Now, most people, when they're buying something, try and get a bargain. Most haggle for a bargain. Well, in Canberra, we now have a new concept, reverse haggling, for a higher <laughs> price. That's what it's come to under this government after just two and a half years. Friends, in my spare time, I like to watch the History Channel. Now, my wife Pam points out quite validly that I tend to watch the same things over and over again. But it is instructive because watching Kevin Rudd implement policy is like watching old movie footage of the Hindenburg. <laughs> As it approaches Lakehurst, New Jersey, you just know what's going to happen. <laughs> Friends, seriously, the Australian people are now getting a much better look at Kevin Rudd and Rudd Labor. They are seeing the real cost of Rudd Labor. The cost of incompetence, the cost of economic responsibility, the cost to them personally, to their family, to their business. And the person who has shone a bright light on all of that is our new leader, Tony Abbott. In just over four and a bit months, he has cut through. He's connected with the Australian people, he's rejuvenated our party, and he has put us back in the game. <laughs> Friends, we meet here today, as the President said, on the cusp of a federal election. In a few short months, the public will have a choice. And with Tony Abbott as our leader, they'll have a clear choice. He's a leader who will restore economic responsibility to government in Canberra. Tony is a leader who will restore control of our borders. He'll restore competence and common sense to government decision-making in Canberra. Tony Abbott is a leader who will put Australia back on the right track. Would you join with me in welcoming our federal leader and Australia's next Prime Minister, Tony Abbott. <laughs> 